Sometimes the most common things in our lives pose an incredible story. We will start our journey in the mountains of the northern Philippines in a small village named Batad. On these 2,000-year-old rice terraces, a new cycle of life begins. This is Anna. She is not sure what her precise age is, but she thinks it's about 75. She works with her friend. Unfortunately, her husband is too old to help her, and her kids are working in the city 10 hours away. Anna climbs every day on these dangerous high terraces to work in her small patch of land. She is planting the rice seedlings now, and she does it in the same way her ancestors did for thousands of years. She spread the seedlings throughout the terrace and will visit the terrace daily to clean it from weeds and snails. The terraces are filled with mud and water to give the rice the best conditions for growth. The rice she will harvest from this terrace will be the main food source for her and her family for the whole year. Here we are in Shargayo, a tropical island in the southeast of the Philippines. The rice fields are starting to turn gold and the farmers are anxious to start the harvest. Harvesting is being done manually with a sickle they started early morning, and by noon, they should be done. All the rice is piled up into a heap next to a small machine. This machine will separate the rice grains from the stalk, and then it can be packed in bags. This machine does not belong to a single person, but is shared between the farmers. They use it in turns, and whosoever turn it is will come with his buffalo to drag it to his feed. This harvest was good. The farmer used only one bag of seeds to plant the field, and now he's harvested 36 bags of rice. This brilliant machine that makes life so much easier was purchased only five years ago. Before that, this process was done by foot. This old lady comes to the farmer's fields while they are harvesting to collect residues left behind. She uses her feet and her body weight to work the stalks and the rice and separate them. All the rice that was harvested in this village five years ago had to be processed this way. Now it is time to dry the rice. They spread the rice over big flat surfaces that get hot during the day. The side of the road is a perfect spot for that. They will give two to three days to the rice to properly dry and then will take it to the second machine. This is the last stage before the rice is ready for cooking. The rice is being poured and as it makes its way down, two wheels crush the grain and separate the husk from the kernel. The rice flows on a mesh while fans blow away any small unwanted pieces. The machine also produces two byproducts a powdery waste which will be used as pig food and the husk's outer layer which will be used as fertilizer. Nothing goes to waste. 